I took care of the um, intervention to dismantle the old dump and the installation of the new one. They're moving the dump, the dump core, and they're gonna place it right in front of the cavity on this extension of the rail. And once it's properly placed, we will proceed with the, um, with the insertion inside the cavity. So you see these green blocks are the shielding blocks. So this will protect the dump core in the future against radiation. This will also take some radiation. We did some studies and we saw that the, that the previous dump couldn't, couldn't withstand the, the energy and the intensity anymore, especially after LS1 and when they, because they want to increase the energy and the intensity. So with this new upgrade, the, the previous dam was not able to, to cope with these high energies. This one, this new dam core, is supposed to work for 25, 30 years, so it's been designed for that. These are the fins. So you see the, the dam core has a cylindrical shape, but it has, uh, it has fins all, all around the surface, and this is to help extracting the heat, because the, this object will be highly radiated, and this energy will be transport, transformed into temperature. So we need to evacuate, we need to evacuate this temperature, and, and this, is a, this is a good measure to, to help releasing all this extra heat through these fins. The previous dump was water cooled, not air cooled. We also need to monitor the temperature of the of the air to make sure that it's really cooling down the dump. <laughs> We are undoing the cables that will monitor the temperature in the dump. This is the way you identify the cables, what you're measuring. Because we have different, different sensors for temperature and they're identified with a different letter. So now everything is in place, they just need to push it inside the cavity. Now we are sure we reached the proper position because the dam, the front face of the dam, was supposed to be in between the third and the fourth, fourth ring, and we see the junction in between them.